Um, it's definitely a little bit of a weird feeling being only a year removed from the program, um, but you still feel so attached. I mean, me uh, teaching and coaching at Hudsonville right down the road, um, and that family feeling that you had when you played here definitely carries over from the moment you leave. It's not like you just leave and it's gone. Uh, you still are a part of the program. The coaches are in contact with you all the time. I'm still in contact with all the players that are here. Um, so just coming around and being here, it's that family feel that you had when you play, and as soon as you leave, that family aspect is still here. Uh, I grew up from Rockford, Michigan. Uh, came to the games when I was a little kid. The McDonald family, um, Bill and Mary Ann McDonald, both Laker alumni, uh, they really brought me in, best friends with their son, Blake McDonald. And I remember ever since I was a little kid, uh, tailgating over there and hearing the fireworks go off. Come to the games, um, Zach Breen, who was an All-American from Rockford, he was my idol as a little kid growing up. So it's been one of those things when I was a little kid, realized that I probably wasn't going to be a Division One football player. Um, at Grand Valley, it was a dream of mine to play. And um, so yeah, just coming here since I was in elementary school, middle school, and being able to fulfill that dream of playing here in college was, was awesome. And it was kind of a dream come true. The facilities here at Grand Valley are top notch for D2. Um, and having a, a locker room, a new football facility is going to really kind of put us above what we've already set. And we've got the locker room, we've got the indoor, we've got Jumbotron. I mean, you can't beat our actual football field for D2. And then being able to add this locker room, add these brand new lockers, uh, is going to be something incredible and something special.